Lord next is John Mejia. So, I'm on a bit of a weight journey. If you haven't noticed, you are blind or you haven't seen me in a while. Um, you learn some things when you're on a weight journey. I gained 60 pounds on purpose, initially to honor Chris Farley. I wanted to reach Chris Farley's weight. I hit 252 pounds, then I realized I should probably Google it. He was 240 in high school. I could have stopped earlier. But some people are like, you know, they're paying attention to their body, they're like, oh, I, I really gotta stop eating so much because I got moves, or oh, my gut's a little big, I gotta really stop. My warning sign, I discovered I, I was growing cankles. I looked down, and I actually had a cankle growing. So, that was my sign. You learn some things though, every sock is a compression sock, if you're fat enough. Thrifty tip. Cool. Happy Black Month. <laughs> That's the most efficient way to say that. You know what I mean. Happy Black Month. I don't usually talk about race because I understand it looks like I love to talk about race. But I'm gonna bring it up. Martin Luther King, great man. Breaking news, did you know MLK was one letter away from being a beverage? Milk, yes. That's the, that's the proper reaction. Rest your head in silence for that. I don't have any major issues with Martin Luther King. We share a lot in common. We both have the scarlet letter. I'm not trying to cancel Martin Luther King though. I just think he set the bar a little too high for dreams. Because I had a dream as a child that I was a chameleon. Very fun dream. I was changing colors like Snake in Metal Gear Solid. Then it became a stressful nightmare when an alligator started chasing me. But I can never tell my friends I had a dream. I can't start a sentence, I had a dream, without them expecting civil conversation. I heard he did other great things. Yeah. Right. Dwayne Johnson, that's my next topic. Anyone a big wrestling fan here? And we'll admit it publicly, cool. I like the man, I'm trying to be his size. Apparently you have to work out if you want to look good at that size, but uh, I think that it's a weird world overall. I think it's weird that The Rock is primarily composed of water. Like that feels like proof of the simulation to me. And just so it's not only a dumb joke, did you know you're 55% water if you're a female, even if you have a large clitoris? You're 60% water if you're a male. I get it mostly looks like fat communicating to you. But this is 60% of water speaking right now. And if you're non-binary, you do not retain water. That's from the US.gov. So fix that, US.gov, cool. If Dwayne Johnson is walking around Compton, could you consider that a rock in a hard place? Oh. Dwayne Johnson Mostly a water is like a sentient cup of water going by the nickname Pebbles. Four minutes, love you, bye. Well, yeah, right. All right, I think we have doors to Sousa. Coming up next, we have Stefan Reg, everybody. Here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> 